it is now 12.29 and it is May 1st which means it's the start of Army Dathan as well as the Asian Readathon and the uh, Mation Dathan <laughs> all of the Readathons but this video is going to be a reading vlog this is my <laughs> say it with me first ever reading vlog I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet but um, I'm basically just gonna try and vlog and show you the times that I'm reading Right now, I'm actually going to be reading An Enchantment of Ravens. Truth be told, I started it like two days ago, or like, yeah, two days ago. And it was so hard for me to put it down. I think I'm just a sucker for Mar Margaret Rogerson's books. So what I did was I actually left the very, very last chapter, like the epilogue, I left it for May so I can say that I finished this book in May, technically. I did ask Kat and she said it was fine. So I'm going to be reading the epilogue for An Enchantment of Ravens. And actually, right now, we Kat is live on Instagram. Highly recommended. I love it so much. So she's live on Instagram just to kick off the army the fun. And it's really fun just um, chatting with everyone. And we're now reading. See? Let's finish my first book for army the fun. I kind of feel like... I messed up, but it's fine. It's my first ever readathon. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> Rook is so cute. <laughs> it's so cheesy, and I like it. I finished it. That epilogue was just like two pages, <laughs> so I literally just had two pages to read. With my first book done for Army the Thon, which is sort um not Sorcerer of Thorns, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I really like the book. I definitely like Sorcerer of Thorns more, but just a tiny bit more. I don't know, I just like the way Margaret Rogerson writes and the way that she builds the world. It's really a lot of showing, not telling. The first few chapters of the book I was so lost like what are all of these words this terminology that she's you know giving us but it becomes clearer as the story progresses and I really like that kind of story build or world building rather than you know giving you like a history lesson at the beginning of the book to explain everything I like sort of figuring out piece by piece this is my reading partner we're supposed to be buddy reading but as you can see She's very lazy and she doesn't want to read. So the next book that I'm going to be reading is Caroline by Neil Gaiman. I'm also borrowing this from the library. I didn't know that Caroline had illustrations. Look, it has illustrations. That's pretty cool. Hi. So I'm just gonna be reading Caroline for the rest of the morning. It's now 3 12 a.m. I might sleep so I can fix ish my sleeping schedule but yeah i'm just gonna read Coraline until i fall asleep see you tomorrow Today, we're going to be eating two-star Michelin British food from the comfort and safety of our home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
everyone good morning so I'm having my coffee right now and I'm still gonna be reading Coraline by Neil Gaiman I'm currently on page 24 out of 195 this is a very short book so I think I'm gonna finish it within the day or by tomorrow which is great um, because some of the books in my TBR are quite long so yeah I'm just gonna read I have no thoughts so far except that I really really like the first line of the book and yeah, I'm just gonna be drinking coffee. Excuse my laundry at the back. And yeah, good morning. Hi everyone, good afternoon. It is now 1.48 p.m. and I finished Coraline. I actually read it in one sitting. Well, I guess two because I read like a few pages, like 20 pages before I fell asleep last night. But I finished it. <laughs> I was very much engrossed in the story and what was happening. So I just decided since it's a Saturday today, it's also technically a holiday, that I would just lounge around a bit and just finish reading that book. So now I have finished two books for Army Dathan. Um, I finished An Enchantment of Ravens and Coraline, which are the Serendipity and Shadow Prom for Army Dathan. And I'm feeling quite good. This means I have a lot more time to read the longer books that I have. The next book that I'm reading is Please Look After Mom by Kyung Sook Shin. Kyung Sook Shin. What did I think of Coraline? Just a little bit of um, nugget of what I thought since I'm going to be doing a completely different wrap-up video anyway. But I really liked it. It was eerie and I loved that. It was also written for children. so. The words that they use are very simple. It was really hard for me to like stop at a chapter because I just wanted to know what's going to happen to Coraline. So yeah, I really loved it. And now I think I want to watch the 2009 animated film because one, I just want to see the whole world in Coraline in picture. And two, I think it was a stop motion animation. So that's pretty cool. I'll see you in my next update maybe later tonight? I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna be working the rest of the day today and doing some chores around the house. Yeah.
good morning. Today is May 2nd, which means it's the second day of our Thun. I am reading Please Look After Mom by Kyung Sook Shin. I only just started it. I think I'm around 15 or 12 pages in, so I have no thoughts as of the moment. So yesterday, I actually asked on Instagram if you guys wanted a full month-long reading vlog for Army Dathan or if you would prefer splitting the vlog into two videos and I thought about it and I do think that it would be easier to split it into two videos so that's what I'm gonna do and then the second video is gonna be the part two of the reading vlog and then my wrap-up for all of the books that I've read for Army Dathan. I am just gonna be working today most of the time so I'm not sure if I'm gonna film much but um, yeah. Hi, good morning. Um, it's May 4th today and I don't think I updated yesterday but I did read the first chapter of Please Look After Mom. I'm gonna be reading more of it today. I was just super busy yesterday. I published a video for booktube. I'm gonna link it up in the cards. Um, it's my first reading wrap-up for April and then um, I worked a lot on shop stuff which was why I haven't really read a bunch of things because I got a bunch of orders and I needed to ship them out so yeah uh, let me just show you the video so, <laughs> this is just me making the thumbnail so this is my first reading wrap up so if you guys want to see what I read in April and what I thought about those books, then the link will be up in the cards. So that's, oh my god, my hair. <laughs> I just woke up at 8.03. Well, that, that's a lie. I woke up at around 6.45, but then I started making the thumbnails for this video as well as the description, and I cooked rice. So it's now 8.03. Uh, I'm just gonna read Please Look After Mom until the rice cooks, which is in about 50-40 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna have breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna have bongo. It's just one of my favorite foods. So yeah, I'll see you later, I guess. <laughs> everyone quick update i'm currently cooking a frittada and then while this is simmering because it needs to simmer for 30 minutes while that's simmering i am gonna read hello what do you want hmm? <laughs> what do you want huh little one high five <laughs> high five why <laughs> why are you so aggressive Hmm? What do you want? Okay, I'm gonna read now. Okay, okay, here's your rubs. Here's your rubs. High five! Good girl! Okay, bye. if I'm wearing my tambahay today. Also, if the audio quality is not the best, it's very hot right now, as always in the Philippines, so we'll make do. Um, forgive my arms for exposing. Hi everyone, it is May 5th today and I'm currently at 56% of Please Look After Mom by Kyung Sook Shin. It's taking me a while to read this one. Unsurprisingly, it's it's very much a tearjerker. <laughs> and it's making me think a lot of things that I did not expect. So I'm taking my time with it. It's fine. I already finished two books for the Army Dathan, so I'm all good. 
But yesterday I worked on new products, which is just this library card notepad. So I'm making this into a notepad, like I'm compiling I think 40 sheets and then making a notepad like this. And I'm gonna glue the top so that it's gonna be a memo pad slash notepad. Um, it was definitely inspired by library cards by the book community so I thought I would share it here. So that's why I haven't really been reading as much because I've been developing new products for my shop. So that's my update today. I am watching Ina's wrap up for the film with Readathon and I love how she says that it's super hot in the Philippines so she's wearing pambahay and I can feel that so much. So yeah, back to my work. Hi everyone, good evening. Today is May 6th. It's Thursday. I finished Please Look After Mom by Kyung Sok Shin today. I finished it at around 12 noon. It's already 7 p.m. Um, and that book is just heartbreaking. I knew, I kind of knew it was going to be heartbreaking, but I didn't expect it to leave me hanging like that. And when I read the last chapter or like the epilogue, I literally stared blankly after, <laughs> I stared blankly in space after reading that last line and I, I had so many questions that I knew I wasn't going to get any answers to and the book really made me think a lot of things especially um, my relationship with my parents and my mom and also fitting that I think Mother's Day is this Sunday so happy Mother's Day I think it would have passed if once I upload this video but nonetheless it's kind of fitting so with that, I have finished the Mama prompt for our readathon, and actually, the next book that I'm gonna read is supposedly Life as We Knew It, because that's the next thing on my um, loan list on the library, because I'm just following my <laughs> library like borrowing schedules. But for this book, I actually noticed that there was no one waiting for it. Which means that I have a good shot at renewing my loan for 21 more days so I could read it much later. I asked on Instagram which of the three books I should read now so the options were Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro which is my Jin or Epiphany prompt and then you have um, Life As We Knew It which is my Sweet Night prompt and then Janusi Lang at Antianak ng Tabo, which is my um, soul prom. And I think the winner, let me check right now, because earlier it was a tie between Never Let Me Go and Janusi Lang. It was like five people each. Let me just check right now. So as of 7 p.m. today, what? Look at this. Seven for Never Let Me Go. One for life as we knew it, and seven for Janice. It's super blurry, but whatever. Seven also for Janice Lang. <laughs> so that <laughs> I'm blurry. So that didn't help. Um, I still have a couple more hours before this um story gets archived. I guess um I'll wait before I start reading my next book. The thing is, I actually want to do a separate reading vlog for Janice Lang and I want to speak in Taglish. I'm not gonna say just Tagalog because I can't. <laughs> I don't think I can, not right now. So I just want to speak Taglish in that vlog just to switch things up. But um, one of the books that I put on hold a long long time ago and it has finally arrived, I put it off for a long time since I wanted to do all of my army to found books first but um, I only have like five days left of this book um, in my uh, borrows list and a lot of people are waiting for it so I can't renew it so I think I have to read it now which is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. A lot of people say this is like a very quick read so maybe it will be like a nice break in between the army the thon books that i have so i think that's what i'm gonna read next i'm not gonna <laughs> include it in this vlog since this is a reading vlog for army the thon so i'm gonna read this as sort of a break 
and then I think whichever wins between um, the books in my poll will be the next book that I read. I think that's my update for today and I guess I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, bye. It is a couple of days later. I think today is May 10th. Yeah, it's around what time is it? It is 5.20 in the afternoon and I actually took a little bit of break from reading my Army the Ton PBR because I had two books that were due in like a couple of days in the library so I stopped my TBR after reading um what was the last book that I read? <laughs> Was it Cora? No, not Coraline. Uh, please look after mom. So after I read that, I uh, switched gears and read The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. And those two were like almost due um, to be returned to the library. And um, I wanted to read them because I didn't want to wait again for weeks. And now I'm actually going to be reading Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. I actually own this book um, on, on my Kindle and I haven't read it. And I'm very excited because a lot of people really like this book and I know nothing about it except um, like the synopsis. So I'm super excited to get into it. Hopefully I like it. <laughs> Let's read Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas. It's 5 to in the afternoon. Whatever. Evening. I think it's been a while since I last updated. Today is May 13th and it's 7.57 p.m. And I don't know, I've just been in a meh kind of mood. And I think it's because um, it's Shark Week this week. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm still reading Never Let Me Go by Kasuo Ishiguro. I'm at the 46% mark, which is page 127, and I quite like it so far. Honestly, at first, I couldn't really get into it because uh, the way that the story is told is in a very stream of conscious consciousness way. Think of it as you have this friend who's telling you her entire life story and She's doing it in a very casual way, so she says one part of the story and then she goes off into a tangent, tells that story, goes to another tangent, then circles back to the original story and then goes off into another tangent. So it's kind of like you're going around in circles throughout her entire life and it's kind of giving me like whiplash trying to think of, okay, but wait, what happened here? And then wait, we're in year this? We're talking about that person so it's kind of confusing at first and I couldn't really get into it because I wanted to know more about what happened in that specific story but then she just jumps into another um, tangent and I'm kind of like Ugh. but as the story progresses as I keep on reading I'm starting to like it starting to grow on me because it feels very casual, it feels very conversational, the way that the story is being told, and the way that they reveal certain details in the plot or in the overall story, the main characters kind of say it in a very nonchalant way, so you're kind of like, oh, okay, so that's like a big reveal. Um, even though I kind of sort of figured out what the reveal is, I'm starting to like it and it's reminding me a lot of a certain anime that I somewhat recently watched, I think two years ago, <laughs> recently. So I haven't been watching a lot of anime, but I watched this, I think, two years ago with my sister. It's called Promised Neverland, and um, it's a really good anime. It's about these kids that are in, like, an orphanage, and they're, um, they excel at a lot of things, though, so they're usually ranked by how well they do on their studies, on athletics, whatever, all of the different, um, things that they do in that orphanage and then usually the best 
person, like the best person in their specific year or whatever, they get to be adopted. But there's a big plot twist to it, and I'm not gonna say it because if you wanna watch it, um, it's a really uh, good anime. I think there's only like one or two seasons. I think there's like one season right now. But yeah, um, it reminds me a lot of that anime. So if you watch that anime, you kind of would piece together what happened in Never Let Me Go. So although I'm still at the 46% mark, there's still a lot to learn about the book. Um, it's really giving me Promise Neverland vibes. So yeah, I'm not gonna say enough more because I might like spill things. So yeah, right now I'm actually editing the first part of the reading vlog this vlog that you're watching and oh my gosh it's so long i have so far an hour and 14 minutes of footage and i've already cut it out like a little bit so i'm gonna have a lot of work here so i should probably stop talking because i'm just adding to the footage so yeah um i'll see you again when i finished uh never let me go and then that will be the last book for this reading vlog since i'm cutting it in half and yeah um so far pretty good hi everyone good morning it is 11 41 in the morning and it's friday may 14th and i finished never let me go by kasubo ishiguro last night actually around 3 a.m because i couldn't fall asleep so i just kept reading and i quite like it at first i wasn't really into it i think i mentioned this yesterday but it started to grow on me and it's more of a character study than an actual plot driven story i liked how it commented on how humans are very much prone to stay the course that has been set for them we don't really try to run away from whatever the society has predetermined for us like for example the whole concept of having like a regular nine to five job that's pretty much still the standard today and it sort of without spoiling anything it's, it sort of mimics the concept in a book where the characters exist for a specific purpose and they don't really try to think beyond the purpose that has been created for them by other humans. So, I mean, that's very much a simplification of the whole thing. I think it's a kind of book where you keep on thinking about it after you've read the book. Because there are many things that are very strikingly different because of it's a dystopian setting. Um, but at the same time, it's very much similar to how we live today in our very real world. I'll share more about my thoughts on this book and the actual wrap up. That's the fourth book for Army the Thun. That's my um, Jin from my Epiphany from. So with that, I have finished the first half of Army the Thun and this reading vlog. I've read four books. Um, an Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson for my um, Serendipity Prom, Coraline by Neil Gaiman for my Shadow Prom, Please Look After Mom by Kyung Sok Shin for my Mama Prom, and then finally Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro for my um, Epiphany Prom. I think I'm gonna close the vlog here. I've already pretty much edited up to this point and I want to finish this so I can upload this on Monday. Today is Friday. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. It's my first one and I wasn't sure what to film and what not to include. Do I need to include like a lot of reading time lapses? So I'm not quite sure. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the reading vlog. If you like the little bits of everyday life that I peppered into it. and. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! What did I have to say? You didn't read any of the books with me. You were supposed to be body reading the books, huh? What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Nothing? Nothing? <laughs>